Smith and the WNN 19 studio in Newark, Ohio. It's time to get schooled in improv comedy with Jeremy Burgess, Lizzie Bowman, Michaela Spencer, Matt Piper, Emily McAlpine, Taylor King, and Mr. Dave Williams in Drama Dave's Acting Cool. Drama Dave's Acting Palooza. This week we've got a whole new set of games for you. Just want to let you know of some stuff that we've got coming up. Uh, tonight, actually, we're going to be attending an improv competition at Hilliard Davidson. We'll let you know next time how we did at it. Unless we did poorly, then we probably just won't mention it in, in that case. Uh, we've also got Legally Blonde, our spring musical coming up. It's super funny, uh, really fun, bouncy music, and it's going to be March 17th, 18th, and 19th. Is anyone, yes. is that right? In the middle of March, 17th, 18th, and 19th. Uh, hard at work on that. It's going to be a great show. And let's get on with this show. Switch. Our first game is going to be uh, movie overdubs. So two of our actors are going to be performing a movie for us, uh, but they are going to be silent actors. And two of our other actors off to the sides will be providing their voices for them. Um, so this isn't a foreign language. This is the sound is turned off on our actors. And uh, our other overdubbers will be providing their voices for them. So uh, our <laughs> actors in the movie shall be Matt Piper yes! and Emily McAlpine. Okay. Providing the voice for Emily McAlpine will be Taylor King. Providing the voice for Matt Piper will be Michaela Spencer. <laughs> So all of, uh, all of Emily's lines, Taylor, you're going to speak her parts. Michaela, you're going to speak Matt's parts. Actors, you're silent, so there's, you don't have to wait for them to say gibberish or whatever to try to translate. And let's give them a movie title, not a real movie. Movie title, what's the movie going to be called? <laughs> the Pickles I Left in the Backyard. In the Shower. The Pickles, the pickles I Left from in the Shower. The shower. What genre of movie would that be? <laughs> it's, it's, a veggie, it's a veggie it's a veggie tale movie. It's a <laughs> romantic tale. comedy. A romantic. <laughs> it's a romantic comedy entitled "The Pickles I Left in the Shower." Okay. And uh, it's a very short film. Very. I mean. Yes, real artsy short film. Some, some film students film awesome. project. Um, it's a short film. The Pickles I Left in the Shower. It's a romantic comedy. Voices provided by Taylor and Michaela. Action. Hi, my name is Emily. What up? How's it going? No. Pretty good. I'm feeling a little romantic today. Oh, I was just thinking to myself, I'm feeling romantic. Did you leave the pickles in the shower here? Why, yes I did. I, I did. I love pickles. I eat them quite often in the shower. I think it's the best place for it. Oh, pickle. Well, that's <laughs> one of the things I love about you, Matt. All that pickle eating you do while you're cleaning yourself. Oh. Where else would I eat a good pickle, you know? <laughs> Oh yes, I understand the struggle. One minute. I dropped one, I gotta eat that too. Oh, that's so charming. Oh yeah, that feels real good. I I excuse me. Uh, hey! I love you, so I'm allowed to take your pickles. That's not it! That's it! I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stab you with a pickle! Oh, that's pretty rude! I'm sharpening it, I'm getting it, we're getting a nice edge on that, and oh. I'm gonna shake you with a pickle! Oh, there it is! No. Love 
there's a man named Dill, and he created this great Dill. My mother was right. I should have seen this coming. Storyteller. Uh, so this game, one person is an author writing a novel, and the other people are figments of their imagination uh, as they're writing the novel, acting out the story in their head. Um, it can go both ways. If the figments of imagination might get away from the author, or the author might keep them under control. Our author will be Lizzie. Lizzie Bowman, ladies and gentlemen, isn't she great? I'm great. She's really cute. And figments of Lizzie's imagination will be played by Jeremy. Emily. And Matt. And Matt? Yes, Matt. All right. Um, let's see, let's give him a, uh, give me a foreign country where this novel takes place. Indiana. Oh, that's not, no. <laughs> <laughs> Close. Argentina. Argentina. India, and I forgot. Argentina. Okay. This novel takes place in Argentina, and what is the central driving conflict of this story? Deforestation. <laughs> yeah. Well, I always say everyone loves a good deforestation joke. It's, it's gold for, it's ripe for comic gold. Do you think you can Wait, out I'm so confused of how this game works. Give us some more room to uh, Lizzie's around. writing a novel on her little typewriter oh. out loud. Okay. And okay. Um, you are in her head as she's writing the novel. Okay. You're the, the characters that she's making up. Do we talk or is this pantomime? No, you can talk. Eh. Uh, the narrative on deforestation and how it's wrong. No, I want. I don't like deforestation. Give me something better. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> How do you not like deforestation? All his money on a sailboat. <laughs> What's that? Jeremy keeps putting all his money into a sailboat. The sad like physically truth. putting his money in a sailboat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the gas goes there. Come on. All right. Jeremy keeps putting all of his money in a sailboat. <laughs> Damn it, that Jeremy. Um, all right. So our novel takes place in Argentina. Narrated by our author, Lizzie. And it's about a man, Jeremy, who keeps putting all of his money into a sailboat. Leave it open to interpretation, I guess. Action! Dawn. The sun is beautiful today. Oh, look, there's my sailboat. Oh, oh look, my sailboat! I love her so much. I love the gal. Her name is... Snakefire. Name Snakefire. There a she goes. She's <laughs> sailing. I have to grab some money now. I must grab money for my snail. <laughs> snake fire. Snake fire. Hold still, girl. Here you go. <laughs> Ouch. Said Snakefire. Ouch. That hurt. That hurt. Well, Take all stabbing. of my money. <laughs> or are you stabbing my pockets? You're putting holes in my body. Sailboat pockets. I'm going to sink. Ah, uh, sinking. No. <laughs> all good captains must keep both the float. George's sister came to the rescue. What's going on? I'm sinking. You're sinking. Together. With all this money in my pockets. They hold snake fire above water. We must hold him above water. Oh my! That's oh, not gonna happen. <laughs> Metaphorically, <laughs> he sank. Oh gosh, snake fire's dead. Oh gosh, all my beloved George's, snake fire. All of George's money. All of your my money. My money! Why'd you put it in a boat? 
That boat is my life. Snakefire is beloved by George. <laughs> my beloved Snakefire. George's sister. Wait! I hear Snakefire! Oh, is she alive? Is she alive? Snakefire! First out of the water! Snake. She is alive! Take this, sister. No, why? No! You it's threw him off a cliff! Oh no. Snakefire threw him off a cliff. What do we do now? All of your money and my money is in that boat that you just threw No one cares about your money! Snakefire! It can fly! <laughs> and cut. <laughs> Let's play action replay. So two of our actors will be performing a scene based on prompts that we give them. Uh, our other two actors are going to be uh, outside watching through the door where they can't hear the scene, but they can see it. And then they, they'll have to come in and try to recreate the entire scene from beginning to end, um, trying to fill it in for what they think it was about and what they think everyone was saying and that sort of thing. Um, round one, actors. Keep in mind, this game works best if there's plenty of physical movement to try to mimic. Round one of actors, Lizzie and Emily. <laughs> Round two, Taylor and Michaela. All right, so you're going to watch through those little windows there, and you're on the honor system to cover your ears or whatever you have to do so that you can't hear anything that's happening. And I will come fetch you after the scene is over. All right. Fetch away. Can we get, like, a camera like, view on their faces? Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Michaela <laughs> and Taylor <laughs> are outside the room. They can't hear the scene at all. They'll just be seeing it and then they're going to have to come in and try to recreate the scene from beginning to end and try to make it exactly the same scene that they see Lizzie and Emily performing. Uh, let's see, let's give Lizzie and Emily, name for me something that is bigger than a human. A bull. Really big. Bob Saget. <laughs> a door. A door, we'll a go with frame. a frame. A very large human. <laughs> All right, your scene must involve a very large human. Okay. Um, and let's get, how do these two people know each other? Um, um, a high school swim meet. A high school love and meet. <laughs> a high school gymnasium that also has love a love meet. A love meet? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a love seat, but with meat. It's a couch made of meat. So like no, a swim meet, but it's like a loving meat? competition. It's a gym with a meat you full of couches. And you can a love meat that full of and then cook it afterwards. <laughs> so we know each other because of meat. Okay, so the high school gyms is having a barbecue. We both love meat. <laughs> yeah, the high school gyms having a barbecue. <laughs> okay. Let's go with speed dating. I'm gonna interpret a okay. love meat to be speed dating. You've been interpreting a lot of them. <laughs> like, what, I don't know what a love meat means. <laughs> It's a type of meat you give your significant <laughs> other to show that you love them. <laughs> All right, so we're speed dating. Scene must involve a very large human. And the scene will begin. Very large. Action. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. You too. Okay. How's it going? It's, it's fine. going fine. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, so why don't you tell me a few of your favorite hobbies? Well. I mean... Okay, okay, we only have 30 seconds. Okay, you sorry, keep I, going. I like to draw, I like I like to read, um, I mean, like, I, I, uh, my dad's really big, and, like, I have to look up at him like this. Oh. He's, I mean, I kind of have to take care of him, that sort of hobby. Hobby. Okay, yeah, um, so tell me, what are your interests in school? It's your turn. You tell me something about it. Oh, gosh, gosh. 
Um, okay, I also come from a really tall family. Actually, as a matter of fact, every couple of seconds I tend to grow an inch. So That's weird. Yeah, um, so that's what just happened right there, is yeah. I just grew an inch. I might not call you, because that's weird. How? Well, I don't understand why you wouldn't You're freaking me out. call me. Why? I'm just because a casual human who needs some lovin's. <laughs> that's why we're here. That's why we're all here. I only have room in my heart love. for my large father. That's <laughs> really only, weird. Only one large person in my family, in my heart, fits. I'm very teary up here. Yeah. Well, that's what love means. <laughs> I wish, I just wish that you would understand me. I find you very pretty. Thanks. You're welcome. You're really tall. Yes, I am. Oh, just grew again. Ha 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 ha. Oh, and please. Uh, <laughs> my tendons. My tendons. Oh, my it's a little longer than I thought it was going to. All right. So Michaela and Taylor are going to recreate that scene from beginning to end, word for word, exactly the same as we just saw it performed by Lizzie and Emily. Oh wait, it's supposed to be the same things that they were doing. Yes. Yeah, I thought that we were supposed to do it a different way. So let's just do it the next. Nope, you're recreating their scene. So it begins. You know, hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? I'm You're taking okay. a long time. Can you speed it up? I. Why are you here? I. What do you want? I don't know. <laughs> I, need you to, I need you to help me make sense of who you are. Well, I am an undersea fish. And I'm here to learn how to walk. Oh, okay. Well, I can't. Help and you I'm with that. running on under sea time, I've so never, you gotta. I've never helped a fish learn how to walk. Well, so. can you try and teach me? Well, okay. So here, put your fins. Okay. On the ground. Okay. Now move them. Okay. You're doing horribly. Can you give me an example? Fin. Okay. Ground. You are good at this. Move. Okay, up. okay. Move your fins. Come on. Really get up there. Really go. Uh-huh. Okay, well. Move. You're not, you're literally let's not just, moving your fins. Let's just try it together. All right, move your fins. You're doing it. <laughs> you're moving your fins. I'm a big fish oh, now. I'm a big fish now in a small pond. Good job. All right. You're a little slow. I have fins. Why did you want to learn how to walk if you're going to be difficult about it? Well, hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't like Earth. That's what we call an earthquake. This is so, <laughs> so scary. Yep. I guess we should go back to where we were. We're just uh, bouncing along. Here. Oh, you can do it backwards. I'll hold your hand. Nice fins. And cut. <laughs> <laughs> nice fins. <laughs> and our final game is World's Worst. Oh, everybody. Wait, yep. I said, uh, yeah, right. Yep. Oh, I forgot. So, wait, what was your guys' scene actually about? Um, um, speed dating. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, I'm really yeah, you get minus a thousand points because you were way off. Yeah, I don't know. I thought the points didn't I thought matter. we were supposed to recreate it, so I definitely was not paying attention to what it was actually about. So I was like, oh, I guess we're just going to wing it. And I don't know why, but Liz kind of looked like a fish to me. So. <laughs> yeah, she she did a, none of these movies. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, she did. She kept well, doing this. With her heart, it's it her mostly in the face. One. My heart's for one big man. All right, you. today. You're going to give us examples of the world's worst job interview. Okay. Yeah. And your marks get set. World's worst. 
World's worst job interview. <laughs> I do eat fish. Are you working at a fish mart? Is that something wrong? So, just some pro tap tips my dad taught me. You gotta be aggressive. You gotta be loud with the interviewer, okay? Give me the job! There you go. It's a pro tip. That's it. Hi, I'm here to audition. Us. Uh, so I don't have a really good word at the ethic, but I'm really good at community theater. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in five improv shows, so there you go. <laughs> I just killed a man, but I can flip a mean patty. <laughs> <laughs> Every McDonald's interview ever, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, I got straight AIDS in grade school. <laughs> what do you have now, Jeremy? I don't particularly have the degree you're looking for, but I did go to one college class when I was in my mother's stomach and she went. I was born for this. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally My born mother for worked this here. I was born here. This is where I belong. <laughs> oh, English? I know English. Maybe I'm a felon, but that doesn't mean that I can't teach children. <laughs> My job interview. <laughs> <laughs> That's going on the list. Right, yes. well, no, hablo inglés, pero y'all make I hope that was funny to people who can speak Spanish, because it wasn't funny to me. <laughs> the point was that they can't speak English. No, I got the point. Pros about was, me? What did you say? I said I As a worker, don't speak English, but I like this job atmosphere. I won't oh, date your wife. What? It's <laughs> <laughs> a good one. And thank you for tuning in to Drama Dave's Acting Palooza. Tune in next week, and uh, we'll see you later. <laughs>